All right, everybody, welcome to the Red Stars pre-match press conference ahead of the team's match against the San Diego Wave on July 1st. We apologize for the delay in starting, but we're all here now. So we have Coach Petroselli and Sarah Griffith here with us today. If you have any questions, please use the raise your hand function and I'll use it to call on you. Leslie, do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, welcome back to the squad, Sarah. Uh, obviously, uh, being on the sidelines watching the first half of the season had to had to be tough. Uh, how do you make? How do you hope to make an impact uh, as you get back in there? Yeah, I think I'm really really excited to be back. And um, although it was tough being out, I think it gave me opportunities to work on stuff and just get healthy and um, get fully back. So I'm excited to just bring what you know what the team might need and maybe a little bit of creativity or just um, working on things that we see in film or training every single day. So, you know, just doing anything the team um, needs. Um, uh, just to follow up, does this feel like there's a little bit of freedom there, a bit of a, a clean slate to, to starting the second half of the season? Um, I think... Wait, sorry. Can you ask that again? Sorry. Uh, yeah. I mean, does does it feel like you're you're kind of uh, starting this this half of the season with a, a clean slate? Yeah, it does feel weird, like um, being out for so long and then coming back just in the, the heart of the season. But um, it's good to have good healthy energy coming in and um, maybe a different outlook being um, out for so long. Awesome. And uh, uh, coach, if you could just uh, speak a bit about uh, Sarah coming back and what that means for the squad. That's a, it, it gives us a real lift. Um, you know, she has she's a lot of ability in and around the goal, uh, whether that's you know scoring or setting goals up. Um, you know, her, her ability to get to the end line or ability to finish. Uh, these are pieces that you know that we're, we've been missing a little bit. So. Uh, I think it does give us a, 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 a huge lift. Great, thanks. Thanks, Leslie. Joe, do you have any questions? Yes, thank you all. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for the time, as always. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Chris, if I may start, uh, curious an update on uh, Penelope uh, and Yuki and Aaron going forward. Soon. Um, not, <laughs> not quite yet, but soon. Um, and, and, you know, the, honestly, the, uh, the smoke this week, um, <laughs> affected our training and, and I think affected them a little bit, you know, and, and slowed their rehab just a little bit. Um, but, but it's coming soon. And then if I may ask between, uh, the travel and then the smoke, uh, how's this week been just handling, uh, some adversity that really has nothing to do with soccer? Yeah. Um been a little a little unique um you know i've not I don't, I don't know that i've ever had you know like training canceled because of smoke you yes. know um so um you know but we've dealt with it fine we've you know we've had to we've had obviously we had flight issues and then um you know and the smoke came and we had to move training and and move times and different areas and and all of that but you know, in the end, I think um, we've been training since January. So one session here or there is, I don't believe, is going to make that big of a difference for us. Wonderful. And Sarah, if I may ask you, uh, coming back, playing on sa uh, Saturday, yes, I think. Uh, sorry, weekdays, get her weekends get all tossed together. But uh, coming back, coming off the bench, and then having that really kind of instant impact, making, we can all agree, I think, is making the right play right by the end line, finding carry in the middle. Uh, curious how that felt, uh, both on the field and then emotionally, just having the opportunity to thrive. Yeah, I mean, it was exciting. Um, we've been working for it. I think um, the team in general, just the determination to get up the field and get in the box and um, be there for each other in that final third um, was something I wanted to bring and I know we talked about so um, it was a great moment to get one in the back of the net and then so doing it by working on the things we've been 
utilizing at practice and just, um, you know, it's kind of speaking into existence, so. And uh, lastly, if I may ask, uh, a couple weeks ago, you were wearing the Chicago House jersey when you came to a game, and uh, on social media, you made a point to uh, tag the Ronald McDonald House of Chicago. And I'm curious uh, why you felt the need and uh, if you have any connections to uh, that organization. Yeah, I love uh, the Ronald McDonald Foundation. I work pretty closely with them. Um, just they have so many houses around Chicagoland area um, connected to the hospitals, working with families and kids um, to get them like the care and support they need while they're in the hospital for so long. And we do a lot of work with them, just going in and volunteering our time, but also um, just being a good partner and um, spreading the word about events. And um, that post was about a fundraiser they had actually was supposed to be yesterday unfortunately got canceled because of the smoke but it was kicking it for the house and it was um just two soccer games and people came out and their families and kids and raised money for these houses so families can have a place safe place to stay and um it's a foundation very close to my heart and I love working with them so um hopefully it's something in the future that we can do and I think about like 200 of them are coming out to the game um, right. We gave them free tickets, I was supposed to be at this fundraiser, but um, so that would be exciting. And they sent us um, jerseys with their name on the back. Um, so it's it's an amazing partnership, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. And just having that platform, I can imagine that's something else uh, emotionally, just to be able to do these things for other people. Yeah, I think, you know, we're given a voice and giving platforms. and. Um, to be able to use it and each our own ways. I know every girl has a different thing they really care about that's close to their heart and this is mine and um, I'm gonna use my platform to help elevate that and spread the word, so. Well, thank you both. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. John, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Chris, you, the game against uh, San Diego the first time, it was an exciting game to they scored late to win. They don't have a lot of their key players who are either injured or getting ready for the World Cup. So have you had a chance to see them? They've played a couple of games now since some of those players have left. Well, is there anything different about them? What do you guys need to do uh, tomorrow to be able to come out with a victory? Yeah, I mean, obviously I've watched pretty much every game they've played, but... Um, they will be a different, you know, a different team. So will we, though. You know, we played the first game of the year. Remember, we, you know, Mal was around at that time, and Penelope was in, and Yuki was in, and, and Gilly was in. So, you know, we'll be a different team as well. And um, I don't think they change much. I think they do what they do. Um, they tend to be relatively direct. I think not having Sheridan in goal takes away some of the the length maybe they have on on some of the balls out of the back. Um, but I think, you know, Korniak's still in and they can still get the ball to our head. And you know, they still got Jaden up front, who honestly I think is as good as anybody in the league. Um, so I think it's still a pretty good team. Uh, Sarah, four of the last five games have been decided by one goal. You guys have won a couple and lost the last two. so. What do you think will be the key in turning around some of those uh, results that have been close that haven't gone your way? Yeah, I think just having the belief and trust to fight to the last second, um, the last play. I think, you know, you saw that determination last game with that goal and um, just coming out firing and getting numbers in the box, getting people off the field and just trusting each other that we're going to get to it. We're going to finish the play. We're going to... Um, you know, if she's making that 60 yard run, I'm right with her. So I think that'll be a big part of it. And just, you know, being clinical in and around the box. Great, good luck to both. Thank Thanks. you. Any other questions for Sarah or Chris? All right, that looks like a no. Sarah and Chris, thank you for, for your time and good luck to tomorrow. This will Thank conclude you. the Red Stars pre-match press conference. Thank you.